campus, thanks. It has now been eight weeks since baby Lisa disappeared, and the regular vigils happening outside of her home are no more. KCTV5's Janine Kiesling is live in the Northland tonight with an update as we move into two months now. Janine? Yeah, Karen, it was baby Lisa's families who asked the prayer vigils not be held here at the house anymore, and it's a request that's not sitting well with a group that call themselves Lisa's Angels. Show us the direction of where baby Lisa may be. Vigils at baby Lisa's home have been almost a daily occurrence since she disappeared from here eight weeks ago. No, they don't want us here. That's fine. But, but now a rift between Lisa's family and the people who run the vigils and call themselves Lisa's angels seems to be the latest hurdle taking the attention once again away from the little girl. It just broke my heart. I'm a mother and a grandmother, and I just cannot understand why anybody, I don't care who you are or what you've done, why anybody would not want prayer vigils done on their child who is missing. The group says they were asked by a family member on behalf of Debbie Bradley to stop holding the vigils at the family home. Rick Irwin, Lisa's grandfather, says it's not that they don't appreciate the prayers, it's just simply too much for the family now that they have returned home. They're trying to get some kind of, if, if there is such a thing as, as normalcy anymore, and I don't know what that exactly would be, but uh, uh, having the vigils here uh, is real heart-wrenching for them. But as Lisa's parents left their home tonight with their two boys in the car, things got a little ugly. Wait, that makes it great, right? You're asking for us not to come here where Lisa was last seen. It's prayers for God. Irwin says they still want and need the prayers. They want everyone to keep looking for Lisa, and they appreciate any support. They just don't want it in their front yard every night. But continuing to have them here in the yard is just overwhelming. The group did say they will respect the family's wishes and move the vigil to another location. Where that will be has not been determined. We're live in the Northland. Janine Keesling, KCTV5 